Hey everyone, Red here, and welcome back to the 30 Days of Wesker. We are on days 26 and 27, so I decided to go with a requested build, which is the Nowhere to Hide Wesker build. And I also want to address something really quick when it does come to build requesting. There's nothing needed in terms to get a build request sent in outside of just commenting it down below. And if it looks fun, I will grab it. And sometimes if I've done a killer recently, I'm not going to grab it for a while. So make sure to be patient with it. Not all builds do get grabbed. Some look more fun than others. And sometimes I've done something really similar in the past or really recently and don't want to do it again. But that's just to clear the air a little bit. Keep requesting. I always pick them up or I'll go back even a month later and sometimes grab a build now that the time has adjusted so it's not so similar to something maybe in the past. But other than that, let's go ahead and do a quick build breakdown today. Starting off with Infectious Fright. Putting a survivor into the dying state, any other survivor within my terror radius is going to scream, revealing their location. Barbecue and chili, whenever I hook a survivor, all other survivors' auras are shown if they are at least 40 meters away from the hook. Third, we have Iron Maiden. I will open lockers 50% faster, but more importantly, anytime a survivor exits a locker, they're going to get the exposed status effect for 30 seconds, and they will scream, revealing their location. And last but not least, we have, of course, Lethal Pursuer. This will allow me to see the aura of all survivors survivors at the start of the trial and any time that a survivor's aura is revealed for a duration of time it'll be increased by two seconds. Moving on to our add-ons we bring a helicopter stick whenever a survivor uses a first aid spray it will reveal their aura for eight seconds. And of course iridescent Ouroboros vial. This is going to start the trial with all survivors infected with the Ouroboros and survivors will suffer from the exposed status effect for 30 seconds when they reach maximum infection. Overall that's it with today's build breakdown so for question of the day what do you guys think about Blighted Wesker skin? Overall, I really like it and think it fits really well. But let me know down in the comment section below. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's gameplay. All right, and game number one is on the Suffocation Pit. This can be a pretty interesting map, but we already get to start off with seeing everybody, which is really nice. Got two people running. We do have Ouroboros Vile, so they got to take care of that. No point in chasing her, because they're trying to open a chest here for the vial. They did get it. Hey, can I see that real quick? We'll just hold it forward. That way we can get rid of a pallet, maybe? Yeah, cool. Just accept your fate. Alright, is there a way I can maybe cut her off at all? Ooh, I could have. I shouldn't have second thought about it. I might have been able to have, like, a really cool uh, snag. That works for a quick hit. We have someone over there. And thank you. Ooh, and there goes Infectious Fright. Us just being able to see pretty much everything. Okay. Well, then we can turn around real quick and maybe snag this survivor. Uh, let's just go ahead and break this for now. It's a pretty safe area, so I got to be a little careful on how much time I really spent here. Because they can pretty much just guarantee the vault. <laughs> yeah. Can I maybe get back over there? Kinda. I definitely would rather chase this. Oh, we have all three here. Cool. Yeah, I would definitely rather chase this than uh, try and chase around the vault and pallet. Okay. Was that life? It looked like it. Oh, got him. Hi. Love to see it. This is a pretty much a dead zone right here, so should be a pretty quick down. She might make it to the other pallet, but yeah, she does. Darn. Nice. We don't get like a down, but we basically put her into a dead zone, so just as good, honestly. Hi. Goodbye. And we'll go ahead and get her on the hook real quick. Thank you. Oh. Well, that's cool and all. I mean, we're already, it's pretty unfortunate. This is why we play two games, though. So we can at least still play this one out and see if we can uh, get some cool little bounds and stuff. We can still play a Shaq. I just got to be careful of my bound. There we go. Perfect. And that's what we're looking for. She gets to take it. 
And then I can honestly set up maybe a quick bound here in a second. Come on. Nice, that works. We just get to stop her from ever taking the vault. Too bad. A lot of survivors are always expecting you to vault, like, to uh, bound through the window and vault. So you can sometimes get some really fun little plays there. You just got to be a little careful because the edges of Shaq can really clip the bound. All right, I saw you over here. But looks like we kind of disappeared. Ninja Survivor. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Ooh, I do get haste. That's pretty cool. And we have Michaela over here. Cool. <laughs> that works. That pre-drop might get her killed here. Nice read. I wonder if I can play around this with a bound. I can. All right, one server over there. We can break this. one to worry about it for later. Are there two survivors maybe on that gen? I can only see the one, though. <laughs> we'll find out. Only one survivor. Okay. So the other survivor must have been closer to go for the save. Ooh, I thought I could tag it. Oh, there you are. So they both were over here. Cool. We can chase this down. I'm really not too worried about it. All right. Let's see if I can tag this real quick. I can. Cool. The bounds this game have been really solid, though. A lot of fun ones. That's kind of like the downside. Is like normally I get rid of like games that have a DC in them, but man, the bounds are feeling pretty good this game. And we play two games anyways, so why not? We're both cutting through. I can go ahead and tag this to get the movement speed. Hello, everybody. I still have haste. Nice. I'm kind of surprised she didn't drop, to be honest. Good read. Fair enough. Are you trying to make me angry? She went inside, but there we go. I just got to make her vault it one more time, but if we lose Chase, she might get away with it. Darn. I was really hoping that would catch her off guard. Oh, she went around this way completely. She could have went for the vault again, but let's see if we can play this one more time. Uh, I don't really have an angle here. We chase this way. Oh, we get the hit anyways. Cool. I was like, we're going to chase her that way just so we could pinch her off into the corner against the wall, and that would have been perfect, but we just happened to get the good mind game there. Two are down. We got one survivor up there. Lethal's going to help just read even longer. Hi. Is that all you have? Not a lot of places she can go. We have the other survivor over there. Okay. Fair enough. Easy break. Does she go for the vault? She does. Cool. She did have life. Maybe I can play it. No, she has the vault. Oh, I thought she'd go for it. Oh, there she is. Nice. Bounds are just on point this game. Hi. Yeah, I have to take her over here now. That's fine. Question is, can I stop her from being able to get the save? Good read. We'll just go around with it. Oh, she's going to try and uh, drop it. I can always vault over it. There we go. Oh, she still gets it. I tried. All right. We'll break this, and then we'll hook up, and we'll give Michaela a chance to have hatched, and someone DC'd. Normally, if I see the last survivor, I'll go ahead and go for the 4K, but it's not a big deal. 
<laughs> Over there, huh? It's a bad place to be in. I can play this uh, by a few different ways. Oh, she went around smart. All right. <laughs> can I get this, maybe? Not really a good angle. Ah, oh, yeah, darn. That's unlucky. And now she's dead. Yeah, no vault there. Oh, and there's the hatch. There we go. And since they did have a DC early on, I'll go ahead and give her a hatch. There you go. Alright, let's go to the next game. Alright, we have Coal Tower for the second game. One of my favorite maps. So this should be a lot of fun. I shall release Uroburos. Alright, I got three survivors, maybe one with distortion, so I don't see the other. Oh, she doesn't know. She's just trying to hide from me. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a free hit here then. Hi. Can I put this chase away quick? Ooh. I thought I had it too. She gets vault now. A little drunk over there though. Oh, I thought the other survivor might actually be uh, still working on that. Over there, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Now where do you go? Nowhere. Works for me. Here you go. She had boil over, so that was a pain, but not too bad. Hmm, I wonder if I can reinfect this person. Or just swing through. Yeah, nice. Oh, he had the exposed status effect as well, because he actually went uh, fully infected. Alright, let's see how she plays this out. Doesn't leave the tile. I have an awkward little run here. That was pretty good. Ooh, I thought maybe. I thought I could maybe get her to second guess herself. We'll just go ahead and pick up real quick. I should be fine. Awesome. This works. I already have the survivor who's kind of back over here. Is there anyone else? Because I don't really want to chase in that corner if I don't have to. Okay. And you already got distance over to Shack. <laughs> so I got to be a little careful. Yeah, I'd much rather go back to Hook here then. I don't want to play at Shack if I can avoid it. And we got Nancy there and we have Dwight over there. Okay. And obviously Nia was over in the corner as well, so we have three survivors account for. Oh, interesting angle. Hello. Good drop. Are you trying to make me angry? Keeps me honest to breaking the pallet, which is good. Come on. Oh, so close. Are you gonna pre-drop this one? Yeah, okay. It's going to be rough, but I might be a player. Oh, she doesn't know. Yeah, she messed up. Pathing was pretty rough there. Yep. Honestly, if she would have beelined it, she probably would have made it to the vault before I could have uh, re got enough of my power regenerated. Easy peasy. What we got for barbecue? Anything? Not really, but I know someone's over here. At least they were. I figure that's where Nia would go since we kind of left her alone to her own devices. Take our movement speed. Dwight's going for that. All right. Nice. He actually left it. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> there we go. Have a little bit of haste, but it's not going to be enough to do much here. <laughs> nice. Wow, I actually got that vault. I didn't think I was going to get the vault for a second. Maybe they fixed that finally. That's something that used to be really frustrating with Wesker is that like you would try to vault something as they throw it. Like as it kind of landed and you just get stuck against the pallet. Break this for later. Not getting a ton of value from like barbecue and chili this round, but the downs are going by pretty quick. So we're doing pretty solid. If I can find a way to get used of Iron Maiden, I'll be pretty happy. Oh my gosh. You scared me. All right, who do we have over here? Can I maybe go for a quick play? Ah, oh, darn. If I would have waited an extra second, I might have been able to pull that off. Like, that way I would have had just enough range to clear the angle. 
All right, what we got? One over there, one hanging back to that gen. I can go for this. This works out really well. Because this is already a dead zone. They have the one pallet that they could technically play with, but it's, it's pretty rough. He's trying to cleanse. Let's just go ahead and go for a bound. Oh, nice. Got him, though. Cool. Oh, what sucks is that he just now became fully infected. He would have been insta down anyways. So close, but either way, his game comes to an end. And we have one survivor over there, so we're good to pick up. There you go. They got the one gen done. This gen has some progress. Oh, maybe I can catch that. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. She might be a little quicker, so I got to be careful. We can kind of just bulldoze our way through this, or maybe even look for a bound if need be, but no need. Come on. Nice. Oh, someone just got out of a locker because they screamed. I really want to head over here. It's not the most effective thing to do, but I'm really trying to get value of Iron Maiden. On the bright side, we got the information off of it, which means that, you know, you can't hide from me. <laughs> All right. Let's see how I can do this. She's kind of taking a good angle here. Come on, let me go through. Come on. Oh, so close. I was hoping I made a thrower, but even if I hit her then, like, was it... I have to throw her and then get the insta down value. Okay. Kind of just takes this or drops it. Cool. We'll see if we can play around this real quick. Oh, now we definitely can. Playtime is over. I'm pretty sure she's out of the game too, isn't she? Drop. Nice. Now we get her on this. Oh, Nia gonna be a hero? Cool. Do you actually I mean, I'll take it. I don't have an issue with downing you instead. Because I can just chase her afterwards with uh, Infectious. Okay. You have a fun little play? No, she's just kind of sitting in the pallet. That works. I don't know if I can get around here in time. I can't. Okay, break it. We're fine. Mm, we'll take this. Ah, oh, or not. It was all prank. Thank you. And we have Nancy right here. And she's slowed, so we can definitely get some value here. Oh, unbreakable. Let's get back here and pick up the fang. That way we can still, you know, still remove a player and at least get a hook out of it. Nia's chilling right here, so we can go for her afterwards, especially if she decides to stay. Oh, did you really stay? I'm kind of surprised. Hi. Nancy was right here. Huh. I was hopeful. Looks like she's trying to kill herself to give, uh... Oh, here it is. Wow. Perfect timing. I just completely, like, right past my sight. All right. There you go. Now, where did we go? All right, we actually left. Cool. Where at, though? Over there through, uh... Check. All right. Just gotta get her to take the right side here. You see how she's hovering more towards pallet side? I wanted to hover the other way. That way I can go around. There we go. Ah, oh, darn. That was what I was talking about last game, too. You, it's just so easy to clip the edge of the wall. But she is fully infected now, so... After this, we can pretty much just walk her down. <laughs> oh, hi. Thank you. And there we go.
That is it for the second game. Overall, the build was a lot of fun. Definitely try it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Much love, and as always, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.